good morning. It's so early. It's a quiet morning with a quiet car and a quiet start. We are off to classic speed so we can check on the FDR7. I'll update you guys more when we get on the road. It's about 6.41 in the morning. I am back in the road in the BMW M4 and I've been using this car a lot over the past few days and I've wanted to put it up on sale but every time I drive it it's actually it's a relatively good car and for the amount of money and mods that we've thrown into it it's very capable in that sense both on track and on the road the only things I don't like with it is it doesn't sound so well but I do love that it's a manual gearbox sadly with all the things going on and with my life and all the projects I've decided to take on and revive I decided to rip into the McLaren. I don't know if you guys have seen that vlog, but we ripped into the McLaren, destroyed everything that makes it McLaren and I'm making it a standalone car so that we don't have to rely on other people to repair the car because the problem with McLaren is it's a proprietary software and we don't have an authorized dealer and every module has to be coded to the BCM or the ECU, which means it's a nightmare to get it fixed especially since I've had my car stuck up for how many years without using it and it basically rotted itself away. So anyway, that's not the topic for this video today. This video is about us preparing cars so that when Larry Chen visits us, yes, the Larry Chen is coming to the Philippines to do a feature on the Philippine car culture. So if you guys are watching the channel, um, you guys want to get your cars featured, definitely if it's a unique Philippine build, Larry would want to see it and we would want you guys to attend the meet also. I'm partnering up with a few of our local friends who are going to help me curate this meet because it's going to be a lot of work and uh, we're targeting sometime March this year. But today I'm going to go check on the car shop because I'm leaving for Japan this week. Yeah! <laughs> Which means I need to figure out if I need to order any parts left before I leave so that car shop work must go on and they can definitely finish the projects without me. We are preparing a few cars so that we can also join the Manila Auto Salon end of this year, believe it or not. We're already planning now because last year when we joined the Manila Auto Salon, it was half big. We didn't really prepare for it. We just joined whatever cars that were available and that looked good. But this year, knowing what we're up against, we're up against Keith and Alex, we want to prepare and make sure we give them a run for their money because I know we can do it. I know we can build a show car. It's just that all the cars that we entered last year, we love. We love the cars. We use the cars. They're actual road cars. They weren't transferred straight from like the paint shop all the way to the car show. So I'm getting a lot of waves from uh, morning commuters. Hey, getting on the Skyway. Because we're super early, there's no traffic yet. I really wish this engine sounded like a 2JZ. If this sounded like a 2JZ, I don't think I'd ever sell it. This was supposed to be the, the modern 2JZ vibes build. Some wheel spin, some cold tires. Another great news on the channel because Larry Chen loves JDM projects. We're sort of curating our builds and making sure that we finish the JDM builds. And we have the NSX parts finally arriving from our good friends at HQ Engineering. David was kind enough to put together some parts for the NSX that Tita was going to need. Finally assemble the car. We're going to see the NSX on the road this year. It's going to have roughly 450 to 500 horsepower, if I'm not mistaken. We have lots of new goodies. I changed that stupid exhaust that we got because it sounded so pathetic. So we have a new uh, titanium exhaust for the NSX. Then we got the block sleeve. We got some new valve spring retainers, a new clutch kit, a new input shaft for the gearbox so that we can push more power and drop the clutch and not worry. David was kind enough to share with us all his information on the NSX and said, anytime you have any issues with the build, call me up and I will help you guys. So pretty cool. It was a great meet. Thanks to Patrick from DT auto body. Patrick introduced me to David because Patrick also has an NSX that he was building and can't wait. So the FDRX7 will be done this year. The NA2 NSX will be done this year. I started working on the R32 GTR and uh, the 240Z is actually at 
profile so we can get that car running also so i think those are my jdm projects for this year and then lots of rwb builds this year you guys should follow the channel sometime in september this year we're going to be building four more rwbs for so it's going to be hectic again and we're probably going to do it at carrera cafe they've been amazing partners the venue is just right yeah we were so seamless last year Hopefully I don't get food poisoning again this year, but that's a different story. Anyway, we should be in the car shop in the next few minutes. So these are the arms you're waiting for for the FD RX-7. It's the Part Shop Pro Max arms, and uh, we're basically trying to fix the camber because we had to install the lower arm, which pu pushes the whole wheel out, which means we need this to push the upper part out or else the camber is super crazy. But we're gonna do a quick shop tour. This is the BMW M4, manual six speed. I don't know, love looking at it, love driving it. I don't know if we should sell it or not. But here we are now at classic speed and I'm gonna do a quick briefing with the staff and then we'll get to updating you guys in a bit. Welcome back to classic speed and we are putting some stickers on the FDRX7 promoting our gearbox. This is the HGT company. We carry sequential gearboxes. So if you guys need any sequential gearbox for most applications that are popular to work on, we do have a solution for you. This is the FDRX7 and we're installing the Part Shop Pro Max arms right now. As I showed you earlier today, these are these guys. So they're a little longer than the stock upper arm so that we can fix the camber. And then later on, we're going to be correcting the front wheels. I went with uh, very thick front wheels where we are having problems with the heaviness of the wheels. So we're gonna be changing that. And we have a electric power steering column also. We already have the new radiator. So as I was telling you guys before, the rotaries don't like running hot and we had the 13B radiator which means it wasn't cooling sufficiently enough because we have doubled the motor capacity and the stock radiator wasn't doing it for us. So this is a new radiator with some brushless fans so they're pretty flat face. We also have new oil coolers on the car and I'm just waiting for one more pulley from Alec and then after that we're gonna get this car ready. So I am prepping this car because we do have Larry Chen coming and he loves the JDM cars and especially this rotary. Here's our new oil cooler down here also. Looks so good and it's a thinner profile right in front of the radiator. We will duct all this later on so that we can force the air to go straight through the radiator rather than going around it. Ducting helps basically make sure that the air passes through the radiators rather than uh, lazily going around the least path of resistance. So normally when you're building high horsepower cars, you want to funnel the airflow to where it matters and cooling is definitely it because cooling and heat are biggest uh, enemies for robbing power from the car. This is the lower arm already that we got from Part Shop Max Pro and it's actually so cool that it's in rose gold. Here's our old RX struts. We're going to be changing this also. We do have the Granas Racing Power Steering Delete Rack and we did that because when we mounted the engine we didn't have space to run the lines but we do have an electronic power steering rack which is going to go through the shafting so we're going to have front power steering later on we're going to change the wheel width to what i'm thinking would be a by 10 or maybe a by 9 even so that we can run thinner wheels so that we can get maximum angle these front suspension here is designed for roughly i think a 60 degree angle which means we're going to be able to slide this car and catch the drift easily. I can't wait to get this car running. One of the major JDM projects that I have this year. And uh, yeah, it's almost done. I really love these intakes and I wonder if we're gonna to get to be able to still have some flames once you fix the cooling because what I noticed on track when we were driving the car, we spit flames when the car's overheating because the fuel is trying to cool the car down in that sense. And yeah, can't wait to bring this into Manila streets and show you guys in person or make you guys hear in person this four rotor because if you guys love how the 812 sounds and the Lamborghini SVJ, you're gonna love how this sounds because it is like none other. This one on full tilt at 10,000 RPM, it sounds like heaven. On the inside as a driver, it sounds amazing, but on the outside, even more as an audience, you're going to be blown away. It sounds so good. We have a lot of red cars on lineup. This is the Toyota DX at Carporn built and and we're actually having issues. It came back from test day yesterday and there's a knocking sound now on the motor. 
which is leading us to believe that we have spun a bearing and that's gonna be a big teardown. We have the Daytona here from Superformance. Uh, we removed the stickers on the car and did some polishing. We're just waiting to do some finishing touches so that we can bring this to Manila. The C2 Corvette here, we're upgrading the windows to be electric and then we ordered the side mirrors and we have some weird vibration that we need to solve on this car. And then here is a client Cobra that we're fixing, changing the headlight and then changing the headers also. Um, the C3 Corvette here, we're still waiting for parts. This has been with us for so long, I wish to get this running already. And look at this candy tone Mustang. Another JDM project. This isn't mine, it's an R33 GTR. And hopefully we get this running this month already because the client's been following up. This is a 67 with an old school motor. And I guess this is for finishing touches. I see it has a EFI upgrade already. And then a few more cars here. So right now I'm here in our storage area. We have a lot of parts. And when Classic Speed was born 20 years ago, the owners had accumulated so many parts. And along the way, as it transferred from owner to owner, the parts just get, kept, kept getting more and more. And when I joined the company, I decided to inventory everything and look at all these spare parts. We're gonna be doing 50% off on all these parts. And please don't ask me what parts are available. You should contact Classic speed direct but we have a ton of parts these are old school muscle parts on the floor water pumps alternators heads springs differentials headers fender panels interior panels cushions wheels we have more interior upholstery stuff here I see steering columns, I see brake rotors, I see suspension arms, I see mag wheels all the way till here. And as far as the eye can see, we are doing 50% off sale. Please contact Classic Speed. You can go on our Facebook page. We do have a link that you can see all the photos before you contact us. And if you guys are assembling any of your projects at home, feel free to contact us. We have a ton of parts to help you guys get on your way. over to the other side to show you guys some more interesting projects. Can't wait for this to get running, but that's not the interesting project here. I don't know if you guys have been following our social media, but this is a 2014 Mustang, which looks like a 69 Mach 1, and I'm just waiting for parts to get that running. And we have our combi here receiving a Subaru engine. I don't know if they've mounted... Na mount yun yung engine, di pa? Di pa? Lapit na? Ito muna yung tinitira niya. Opo, tsaka yung customer natin siya, si Carlito. Okay, and then the E28 drift car is back here and we're doing some adjustments to the electricals and the transmission tunnel, the owner's foot is hitting so we've decided to slim that out. And uh, we're gonna go to the other side. This combi is receiving a Subaru engine but they haven't been uh, able to mount it yet. I decided to get this running because I think there's a future market for these things to get some air. We do have this G-Class here getting a LS engine swap. And I'm waiting for the customer to get back to us also on that car. Here's the E28 and the new transmission tunnel, fixing the pedals, the electricals are going to get fixed also. And we're going to try to lower the car because the X-pipe is uh, hitting the ground, so the owner wants it lower. And we're going to move the X-pipe to the rear of the car. In case you guys are wondering where is my GT40, and I had to sell some parts from this car to our other GT40 clients, but we will get this car running this year and I might put this up for sale if you guys are interested this car will probably go up for sale i love it but i'm not in love with it and there's so many other cars to use but it looks so crazy look at those panels look at that intake we're gonna get all that running and active and we decided to leave the carbon exposed i will bring it out though because this deserves to be paraded for a bit before we put it up for sale and we fixed our showroom we did have other sofas here but now we have this uh, rear sofa and then this 240Z sofa. I'm amazed the sofa hasn't sold. There's so many JDM fans out there, but I guess space limiting that uh, they don't have space for this. So we're probably gonna move this to the hotel later on. Okay, we're walking over to the dirty side. The dirty side is where we do all our fiberglass and painting. And uh, we are selling these jigs. If you guys are assembling cars, we have some jigs, some rotisseries so you guys can barbecue your car. I should bring one to the farm so that we can work on the GTR. But we are working on the MRS project. We had to re-widen this car. Morning! So the MRS project had to get remolded. Our offset was wrong. Our wheel offset was wrong. So we had to redo the whole kit. 
and now we're doing even wider fenders so we have a temporary mold for this if you guys have an MRS and you want to do a wide body kit please let us know because we have this fender flare molds already and it'll be such a waste to only pull one kit from it I wanted to show you guys also this project this is our own design where I told you John Sibel helped us make it and it's coming to reality finally this is called the CSM-00, our prototype car. And as you can see, it's a combination. It's a mixture of old school and new school design, 40, 67. This will be my personal car or the shop car, so to speak, where we can test all the creature upgrades. And hopefully we can get this running soon this year also. This CSM project started off when I first joined Classic Speed and I was telling uh, my partner back then, that uh, we shouldn't be copying the famous movie cars and we should be building our own design. And this is what happened with uh, my idea. John Sipal helped us formulate this idea together. Uh, it consists of a front bumper, front grille, hood, and then a side skirt. And then here are the renders. We decided to have our own look for it. What I particularly love is the rear diffuser and how this is shaped also. Now, this might get a chassis, I don't know just yet, but we will be running a Coyote engine on this also. And we have some very interesting transmission upgrades this year. And I don't know if we're going to be able to do it to this car yet, but uh, we will have some updates in the future and options for gearboxes later on. is sticking out so much and look at the camber it's already cambered even if the car is not sitting on the ground one of the major issues when you're getting a drift angle kit is that it pushes the whole wheel out and this is going to be a major problem thank god kyle can order us some barrels so we're going to do some rough measurements now and see that's too much camber you yung. but look at that it's even going out even more All right, thanks, Kyle. Have a great day. Bye okay, bye. talk to you soon. SLS, please. <laughs> just got off the phone with Kyle. It was a long 40 minute conversation just talking about how to rebarrel the front wheels. It's very confusing in the beginning because the total width for these mags are 13 when you measure it, but in actual, it only means it's a 12. 13 when you measure the lip to lip because the mags basically have to, or sorry, the tires have to sit on the bead, and the bead is actually the total width measurement not the lip to lip the lip to lip is always an inch bigger which means there's a half inch on each side that extends out so that it can complete the total width of the desired mag so from our measurements here it's a as i said an 18 by 12 but 13 in total and we need to go down to an 18 by 9 total which is going to be an 18 by 8 wheel because when you put on drift knuckles they basically lean in so aggressively around 60 degrees that a thicker rubber like this would end up catching everything inside and we don't want that. So what's going to happen is Kyle has to order the outer lip over here. This is going to change to almost just a one inch lip and then we're going to have to add a 5mm spacer to clear the brake rotor because something about the spindles from the Part Shop Pro Max kit brings the brake out just a little also. And then for the inner lip, we're also going to change this to, if I'm not mistaken, a 7. So 7, 8, and then yeah a total it'll be like total measurement of nine but uh just the mag wheel will be as 18 by 8 for the front and then we can now downsize these are 295 tires they're so thick in section they're so heavy and for drifting it doesn't want to coil back the steering wheel because it's so heavy so what's going to happen is we're probably going to end up running a very thin front tire like a 225 for the front tire and that should complete this project so that we can get ready for the arrival of mr larry chen so i'm going to wash my hands now that was a long conversation but i'm excited to get this car running and uh, have you guys hear it in person and terrorize manila streets with it so sanding disc Yes? Okay, we're clear. One mm One mm sanding disc. That's their only clearance. Okay, back to measuring the lip. And then, sukatan natin again to. Let's see kung nagbago. It shouldn't make bago sobra sobra. At least that way, pwede natin itayo yung camber ng konte. So it's still dust? 
Yeah. Okay guys, I told the boys to wrap up the FD already so that we can get it down to Makati and hopefully Kyle's supplier has the front wheel barrel so that we can finish the conversion, get this car on the road, we have one less car that we have to deal with. And I just found out from the shipper we're having issues with clearing the NSX parts because of Chinese New Year. So it might be delayed till tomorrow, but within this week, we are gonna send Cholo and the parts down to Titan so that he can do a feature on it. And uh, hopefully the team at Titan and Titao can bang up that car, get it on the dyno and push some serious power. But on that note, I'll see you guys again in the next episode. Bring home my rotors and calipers to Makati so that we can install it in some future projects or sell them.